All right, hey there, this is for violin two, viola, cello, and bass. Uh, these parts, for the most part, have unison rhythms. Um, okay, so we're in the time signature of two, four. Violin and viola, you have one, two, three, four measures of rest account. Cello and bass, you have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's one more down there, 10, okay? And we're down below, okay? Let's see if I can scoot there. Yep, so there's 10. All right, so just realize that um, when you enter cello and bass, you'll have the unison rhythms with violins and violas. Okay. All right, let's try this out here. Um, all right, again, this is William Tell Overture Rhythm Counts. All right, let's try this. I'll take it line by line. All right, one, two, ready, go. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, one, two, and a one. And a one and two and one and two and one and two and goes by pretty quick, right? One and two together, one and a two and 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 one rest, 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 and a one and a two and a one and two. Yes, okay. One and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one. And a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a yeah. So so far you can kind of see here that your rhythms are unison. Different though from first violin, right? Just a little bit. Okay, let's do another one. Next line. Ready, go. One and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and one and two and next line. One and two and a one and a two and a one and two and one and two and one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and one and two and one and a one and a two and one and and one and and one and two. Okay, this is where it's a little bit different, right? So viols we have a C one and a one and a one. And a one, and a one, and two, and a one, and and you, the violas join the first and seconds here for the next measure. Okay, um, bass and cello, you have something a bit different. One rest, one two, and two and one and two and one and two. Okay, going on next line. One and a two and one and and one and and one. And a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a okay and for the most part cello bass you have something different here right so we'd count it one two one right rest 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 and two and one and two and one and a okay going on and then look at this most of this is kind of most of the same with first violin right so if you count the first violin one you'll have most of this piece Okay, going on 64. 1 and 2 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and then at E we have these half notes with one um, slash through them. Okay, those are just eighth notes. So these will be one and two and one and one and two and one two one two one two one two one rest one and two and one and one and two and one two one two one two one two one and two and a G and a two and a one and two and a one and a two and a one and two and a one and two one and two and a one and a two and a one and two one and two and 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 one and two etc. Going on, it looks that same. Yeah, except cello and bass, right? You have one, two, etc. Right? Pretty simple. Okay, going on. Okay, um, everybody has sixteenth notes at H. Okay, um, so we're looking at. Ready, uh, ready, go. One e and a two e and a one. One e and a two e and a one. Rest. One e and a two e and a one. Rest. 
One e and a two e and a one rest. One e and a two e and a 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 one e and a two. One and a two and a one and two and a. Okay, only difference here. Okay, a couple things. Cellos, you have a different rhythm. It's kind of like the first violins, and then basses, you just have one and two and stay steady with your eighth notes here and one and two and one. Okay, going on next line. Okay, right, similar, very similar rhythms here. Oh, the same really. One and a two and a one and two, one and two, one and two, fermata. One, one and two and go faster here. One and a two and 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 one and two and one and two and one and a one and two and one, a one, a one off. Okay, yes, there are double stops here. Yes, play the double stops the best you can. If you're not comfortable, just kind of play each note separately, slowly, and then add them together until they're in tune. And just play it a long held note, whole note, or four beats or eight beats. Hold it until it's in tune and keep finding and searching with your left hand, first finger, that'll help. Violas, you have a different rhythm here, right? So you kind of have the trombone here, part here. Um, so this will go, ready, go, sniff. Give it a good sniff there and you'll have it. So it goes, and, 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 one, and two and one and two and one and then it's all together right and yes we always do play those double stops at the end that's a good thing same thing cellos um all right anything else that's different yeah everybody kind of has a different rhythm here at the end except first and seconds um cellos you have 16th right one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one and a two and one and two and one and a one and two and one a one a one off, okay. Bass, you have eighth notes. One and two and 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 one and a one and two and one. A one, a one, okay. Cool. Nothing too hard, nothing too crazy. Okay. All right, happy practicing.